Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miera Jennings and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this into this. Don't go anywhere. I'm starting out with this purple long sleeve shirt that has a pretty tight fit. And in addition to the shirt, I'm using fabric scissors and a white colored pencil. That is it. This project is really, really easy, but I still dropped some links below, so check them out. All right, so first I'm putting the shirt on backwards because I want a little more material up at the top. And I'm using the white colored pencil to mark out the point where I want the plunging V to end. And when that's done, it's time to take it off and draw out the shape using my good old Oreo box as a straight edge and the white colored pencil. I'm starting at the point that I already marked and I'm drawing out the plunging V shape. All right, that's looking good. And now it's time to cut. I decided that I drew the V a little bit too wide, so I'm just fixing that with the scissors and making that plunge a little bit more narrow. Once that V shape is cut out, I'm marking the spot on the side about two inches below the armpit and using the scissors to cut to that point, making a triangular shape. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing to the other side. Once that's done, it's time to move on to the back. So I'm folding those flaps forward to get them out of my way. Now all I'm doing is cutting that top portion off of the back of the shirt. And the halter has been created. Now that the main part of the shirt is done, it's time to work on the straps. So I'm using that top part of the back of the shirt that I just cut off, and I'm cutting the collar off. Then cutting it in half. And it's time to attach them. I'm using the scissors to cut a very small slit into the top of one of the sides of the shirt. Then I'm slipping the end of that strap through that hole and tying a knot. That's it. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Once that's done, we now have our two straps attached. Everything's looking good. Just wiping off some of that colored pencil. And of course the rest will come off once I wash it. And you already know, it's time to try it on. And that's it. That's all it takes to get this look. It's so easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this video. And also let me know if you have any other DIY ideas. Hit subscribe and the notifications bell so you know when I post a brand new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.